Oh. And Brad plays against a lot of people who play like uh, characters like Fox or, or, or Captain Falcon, who are, who are more considered high tier characters. There's not a whole lot of DDDs that he plays against, that to be honest. So this is going to be a tougher matchup for him. The uh, audience losing faith. Does uh, we're all corns now have currently over? Uh, uh, well, it's dwindling because Gana just died again. Yeah. Um, oh, one star. It does have a oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to talk over the mic. But yeah, yeah. Gana's team has one of two players, but this could be even down pretty quickly by anyone. This is true. Brad just doing what he can to chip out a, an, another stock out of DVD at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, and he's not gonna get it. Yeah, no, that recovery. Zigzagoon, who will probably be playing Game and Watch, uh, not Game and Watch, uh, uh, Duck Hunt. I don't know why I said Game and Watch. That was not what I meant to do. Yes, Duck Hunt, which is what I meant to say, but for some reason Game & Watch came out. <laughs> that was not what I meant to say. Yeah. The, uh... Some dissent deciding on what stages they wanted to ban and, and what... I believe FD was banned, so... Smash was pretty good. Yeah. It's very quick to get the can off to to try it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're correct. We should call him Duck Hunt Dog from now on. He is also mostly a dog, not a duck. But it's 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 just shorthand. Uh, but I agree. The dog should get more credit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That 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 laugh that has haunted g generations of gamers. <laughs> Yeah, not sure exactly. Yeah, no, that was. I uh, fundamentally disagree with. I fundamentally disagree with the sentence dogs are people too. But I 100% believe that we were wrong to leave him out. You were correct. That was unfair to dogs everywhere. <laughs> oh. There we go. Whoa! Some, um, colorful language from the audience! <laughs> That's so real! Favorite dog? Like, breed or character or type of dog? Oh. Uh. I like a lot of dogs. I like big dogs mostly. I'm not a small dog type of person. I, I lean that way too. I, I think like I like uh, huskies or um, I like big fluffy dogs with curly tails. Despite the fact that I don't like the fact that the curly tails hurt them. Uh, <laughs> favorite flavor of dog? Whoa! Definitely Neapolitan dog. <laughs> uh, all beef hot dog. <laughs> We have to pick one favorite individual dog. Okay, well. No, 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 it has to have a name. a name. It has to have a name. We have to be able to name it. <laughs> oh my. I don't have a favorite dog that I can name. I mean, I guess I could should say the dog that lives at my place here, but he's technically not my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody loves Scrappy. How did you name a dog Scrappy? Not even, not even the people in Mystery Inc. like Scrappy. But if I was going to pick a famous dog, I guess it would probably be Scooby Doo because he can talk. Yes. We're all corns now. Seven stocks on the former team, six stocks on the latter. Actually, yes. I was not aware of that. <laughs> I actually didn't know that, and I've. I've called his name multiple times at various events now.
To be fair, I did like Cow Courage the Cowardly Dog as a child, but I still don't know why I ever watched it. It gave me nightmares. Courage is a pretty good dog. I'm actually not sure how, how Dark Pit is as a counter pick to Duck Hunt. I, th I mean, with Pit it's all projectiles. That's, yeah. Yeah. If anyone wanted to see the Duck Hunt dog, uh, fall off the edge. This is exactly what I'm doing. So, uh, that's him taking the stocks, and they are starting now. So much salt from the crowd. <laughs> so much salt. The salt is still going, by the way. Just yeah, yeah, they're. <laughs> salt from his own team, too. Kevin's just getting <laughs> sassed a little bit. Yeah. Kevin showing some some patience, some restraint on uh, not not running into some hits. there in uh, kill percentages. Oh! oh! All of these that was uh, that was actually amazing. <laughs> and dropping pit down to one stock. Oh. That that could have been the end. That could have been the end for Zigzagoon. But they knocked down Ike to one stock. That was not what Team Ta and John wanted. Ashley, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, chat. I'm more of a cat person. I like dogs, but I prefer cats. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, they, there's there's a little bit of confusion for uh, uh, Kurt's tag. <laughs> Which, uh, 
he clearly, you know, just made for the, the stream, but, uh, yeah. Cat dog, I agree. Cat dog. <laughs> Again, I don't know how well most of these characters uh, counterpick in, into each other. Like, uh, I, again, I don't see that many Dark Pits, so I have no idea if Ness is any good or bad against Dark Pit. In terms of tears, all I can tell you is that Ness is not That's fair. But that... Uh, the time limit is to uh, account for various character uh, attacks and and uh, things like that. It's not actually that long that we're going to play. Uh, it is a crew battle, so uh, Dark Pit was knocked down to one stock last round. So we have to go into this round with only one stock, we have to go into this Uh, essentially, it's going to be all over for Tan John if if uh, Ashley can keep all of his stocks. We're all corns now. Wow. Yeah, this is. <laughs> so here's the situation. Tonton has one player left. Steven, gamer tag, Psych. Psych has to take down two people. In uh, we're all corns now. He has to finish off two people. He is going into a round against somebody else with three stocks, which means even if he makes it out of this round, having killed Ashley, yeah. he will likely not have full stocks. Last round. Yeah. Mostly with shouting, that's what's happening in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. And, and all my dead silence. I suppose you and I attempt to figure out how to actually articulate things. <laughs> yeah, that's... It is hard. Alright, so on the left of the camera we've got Psych. And Team Tonjon needs to go last. Time. And Psych has to take down two players remaining. He is currently using the tag hello in game. Yeah. This is at least currently looking to be an easy win for We're All Corns now. Uh, these are all uh, Smash players from the Calgary area. Calgary and Alberta area. Who, um... So... Oh, who's speaking right now? Who is speaking right now? Um, I'm I, I'm Lolof. I used to go to the uh, Calgary University Smash Club, but uh, I am currently the roommate of the of the guy currently hosting this charity event. So I'm here helping out and commenting on uh, Smash Four, which is the only Smash game that I still play, and I do not play it even remotely competitively. Yeah, again, this is I, I just don't know counter picks in this game anymore. Don't worry about it. But it's looking like Ness is a good yeah. 
Uh, John is helping us. Yeah, I don't know if you could hear that. I don't. I don't know if the uh, the mic could pick that up, but he's. Hi. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Here. Hi. <laughs> there, in case you didn't hear it enough times. Uh, he's currently helping us. Uh, I'm assuming he's playing a f game or two later. I don't know. Oh, he's he's running Bomberman, so he's he'll be he'll be on stream a little bit later. Sega Saturn Bomberman. Yeah. So. But really, really glad for his help, especially with getting this many people out there and aware of what we're attempting to do right now. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> and everyone has said hi back. <laughs> yeah, There we go. Sure, you can. So if he can pull this off, uh, Psych will be going into the next round, but he will only, be, at this point in time, he will be doing so with two stocks. Doable, uh, but there's a chance that he'll be knocked down to one stock, even if he can get Ashley out in this in this uh, match. Yeah. I like this comment about about hair in particular, and then I realized, looking at Brad and looking at John, you guys have like almost the same hair. We should shave it and sell it. We could donate it to cancer. <laughs> to cancer itself, the uh, the disease itself. Yeah, I think a few people are confusing Brad for John. Oh, so that's a bad <laughs> stream. Oh. Oh, that is game set. And we're all Corns now wins officially. Officially, Yeah. So, uh, not entirely sure what's happening right away, right now. I'm just checking the schedule. Mega Man 9. So we're going into Mega Man 9. I don't know. So, uh, I will, we'll just, I guess, uh, talk a little bit about the uh, charity and the raffle and everything while we're getting set up. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Here, take the. Well, take this one too. Uh, so for those of you, no, lower, lower. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, we are raising uh funds for Fort Mac, which is a town in Alberta who was uh, that was ravaged by a wildfire several. Or about a month ago, and they're pe just letting people back in now. So we're we're. Yes, about 70 70 percent of homes destroyed, and about eighty thousand people displaced. So, so that's what we're, we're raising money to try and, uh, you know, get people back in and s restart their lives and, and those sorts of things. So. Uh, any amount of money that you would like to donate is uh, great, but for those of you who would like to also win some prizes, maybe, uh, $10, a minimum donation of $10 will uh, win you one of these uh, Perler Bead Arts, of which we have many, most of which are linked to the games that we've seen. It's a chance to win, it's a raffle. You will not be guaranteed to win, but it is a raffle. Um, here, take this one as well. Uh, so that's minimum of $10. 
to uh, get yeah. those. Uh, minimum of $15 will enter you into the raffle to get a set of Mar Super Mario Checkers and a uh, Diablo 3 poster signed by various voice actors. And a minimum donation of $20 will get you into the raffle for all of that, and also for the Re Retron 5 that we have, which is a great emulator for, uh, for old retro games. It, it's a console that runs, uh, runs quite a few old games. <laughs> Um, so that's, if you, if you donate $20, you're entered into all of those raffles, and it's, that, those are the minimum bids. If you, if you donate more, you're entered into all the raffles to win, um, just send, yeah, the Retron, um, uh, send your, uh, you can donate to any charity of your choosing. It does not have to be one of the ones we have listed, but send us the proof of donation and uh, contact information to the um, to the email currently on the, in the chat, but also it's on in one of the links somewhere. Um, preferably, your uh, tax receipt for it will be the best will be the best uh, way to assure that we get we get the uh, information you don't have to tell us that you want that uh, any amount of money that you send is good and you don't you don't have to have us you don't have to send it to us if you don't want to um, so we're just about done we're just setting up right now Mega Man 9 they can see you and they're confused because there's it's 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 so weird they're like hearing girls talking and then when they're seeing one it's weird I'm weirded out by it we're right right I mean <laughs> yeah, we're we're actually being attacked right now. We're in a church. Yeah. It's a good venue for about ninety percent of what we've done. Yeah, yeah. Pushed it a little. I knew there'd be mighty number nine. Uh, so there are some games that might be played uh, later on if there's still people playing. Uh, Brad has said that if people want it and somebody is willing to get a copy of it, he will do a run of Superman 64 as as part of the encore gaming. Yeah, if we can, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's. It's all about whether or not things are still going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, you're actually on my cord. It's not quite Bomberman Act Zero, it's gonna be Bomberman for the second Saturn, but John has said it'll be hard to say. Oh, it might be. You can say that, right? I had already angled it. <laughs> it, would, it would not be John. Brad has claimed it. If if it ever happens, Brad has claimed Superman 64. Oh, what? I have it here. Yeah. People are being like, John should play it. And I'm like, too late. Brad called dibs. Well, John, no, if you want to watch John get upset at Superman 64. No, I know. It's in my recording. It's in my recording. So it just came coincidentally. Um, some people have sent us their PayPal receipts if that's how they did it. Um, basically, we need confirmation that you have donated to a charity. <coughs> and um, we need to know how much and how to contact you, essentially. Uh, so it's Bomberman. 
right now it's going to be a speedrun of Mega Man 9. Yeah, Mega Man 9. Followed by the speedruns of Trauma Center, Jackal, and Shadow Gate. And then we'll so hit Bomber. That'll be for about an hour. Yeah. I mean, that, that still wouldn't be, if you want to do 100%, you'd have to do Super Mega Man. That's the worst part, yeah. I don't know if you, oh, it's on level 2 got canceled. This, this is apparently uh, it whatever the switch to the toy box is. Oh, it looks like it's just a collection of Kirby and media. All right, we are firing up Mega Man 9. Yeah, all right. Then I think it starts back and start back here and... Uh, Go ahead, Mega Man 9. Two words for Mega Man. Okay, how about start back here and... Yeah, and Slurpee Ninja. I got a big arm for worst. One, one word. One word. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the only two battles I can think of. And even then, I actually kind of like what they're doing. Testing, 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 testing. Oh? Yeah. Hi. I'm gonna co-sign off for now. Cool, yeah. Hey everybody, how are you all doing tonight? We are excited for this. That one doesn't reach over here by any chance. I can try. Raising the funds. I've got I got my trusty machine shirt. He likes pizza. That's as far as it goes. I am the cat. Okay. How do I unmute? Can you unmute me? Do we have timer? Or no? Do we have timer or no? I'll, I'll, I'll time it from... From Concrete Man. Is Am I on? Oh, okay. Uh, can you unmute me? Huh? Oh. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So yes, this is Mega Man 9. We are starting with Concrete Man stage. Um, Concrete Man isn't the easiest boss to do with Buster only in this game. That would be Splash Woman. She takes two damage from the Buster. But because of the boss order for this game, because you get the Rush Jet, um, fifth after five robot masters. That's why you do concrete first. So you saw me uh, practicing mashing earlier. That's because when I get up to these three elephants, I want to try to stop as little as possible while I go through. So, oops. And my mashing is horrible. Sorry. Yeah. I need more coffee. So that went pretty smooth. Uh, yes, they save about a tenth of a second each time. You can just walk right past all these guys, then. They shoot exactly so that you can dodge all their shots on the way. Oh, oh no. Missed that jump. Ah. Re reset. No, I'm just kidding. I guess we can't really reset. Yeah. It happens. Okay. Co commenters? Oh. Um, am I co-commenter? No, no. Okay, okay. Cool. As we get back to this area. I don't know. Let's try this again. Just gonna wait for that. Alright, so here's the first boss, Concrete Man. He'll either jump up into the air, or he'll dash across the screen, or he'll throw concrete at me, so we'll see what happens. 
and I will adjust the pattern he gives me through concrete. Okay. And I want to stay pretty as close to him as I can without getting too near. There we go. Right, there and I want to finish the fight. What? All right, we're good. I wanted to finish okay, the awesome. fight in the middle of the stage, but uh, so that he doesn't have to walk over at the end. He can just jump straight up and get the boss's power, which is concrete. And now the next stage we do is Magma Man stage. Magma Man. And the concrete shot uh, helps you a lot in that stage in terms of uh, with the magma flows. There are giant beams, pillars of magma that'll come straight down, and if you touch yeah. them... And normally you would have to wait for those if you didn't have Concrete Shot. Mm -hmm. So these shield guys, you can sort of hit them under the shield if your shot is good. They jump right over that guy. Yeah, that, that jump there is actually tighter than it looks. <laughs> and the, as you can see, you can see them uh, Slurpee doing those little zips with the concrete shots. He's going right underneath them as they come down. So he's just damage boost for that one there. And there you see me stopping the concrete beams with the concrete weapon. And we come to the first mini boss of the game. And he just takes five concrete shots to kill. So concrete, once again, very useful. Yeah, especially in this stage. It's pretty. It's very useful throughout the entire run. It's it's funny when they first uh, showed off the the powers for that this game when it first came out. Everyone made fun of Concrete Shot, but it ended up being the most useful thing, especially in a speed run. Oh yeah. So all these beams here, you just kind of kind of stop them. I'm gonna try for a really tight trick here. Oh no. So I didn't get it, but. Made it under there. Yeah, no, that's uh, that was a tight jump. Hmm. And so yeah, the, you fight the yeah, first this game two bosses is full with the Buster, just because the it's actually faster than doing the weakness order. So if he gives me two short jumps here, that'll be the optimal pattern. Oh, he gave me one one short jump and one big one. So. And you just kind of want to follow. Magma Man. There we go. I didn't finish the fight in the middle of the stage though. You so. just beat him down with those lemons. Yeah. <laughs> jump and shoot, man. Just jump and shoot. Jump and shoot! Mm -hmm. So what's the next stage we're headed off to? We are headed to Galaxy Man stage. Oh, that is your stage! Yes. That's true. It is my favorite stage. Is that the one you won the statue off of? Yeah, um, no, that was Sheep, oh, sheep, sheep Man. Man. Ah. Man yeah. Capcom had a contest to uh, get the fastest time in Mega Man 10 stages. Throughout. But he's also called Random Man because, well... If he, if he gives you a bad pattern, you lose a lot of time. It's sad times. It's a long wait. Or at least it does feel like a long wait when you're doing a speed run. It doesn't save that much time, but you'll see uh, Slurpee using those concrete zips again. So I take a damage boost just to get over these spikes. And my phone sends me a flurry of text messages that I ignore. Oops. Oh. Not sure what happened there. That's alright. Our good old friend Rush here is going to help us out. Yes. And there are transporters throughout this whole stage that can carry you quite speedily. It's about the same speed as dashing with Proto Man would be. You'll see me jump off the top of ladders, it just saves a few frames each time. And you can kind of use the concrete as stepping ladders and stuff, it's really... It's a really versatile weapon. All the weapons in this game are very handy yeah. in that respect. 
I say concrete has more versatility than most others. Nope. That's the bootleg one. We don't want the bootleg one. <laughs> I don't want to bootleg Mario World. So I'm going to do a backwards damage boost. And nice, do the nice. That's new tech, man. I haven't seen that one. Oh, really? Oh, I was saying we'll play this game for a while now. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Alright. He flew off, so I lost a bit of time there. But it wasn't there you too go. bad. No, it could have been worse. He could have been he could have been a lot meaner about that. That's true. I see what he's capable of. The actual <laughs> pattern is he'll swoop one way and then swoop the other. Yeah, and Two then you swoops. can just get right in. But uh sometimes he'll just fly up and never come down. So. Do you still have the record on that stage? Or I think I'm second. Second? So we get the black hole bomb, and now we go to Hornet Man stage. Because we already got his weakness from Magma, so... That's a bit, when I was casually playing this for the first time, uh, this stage gave me a lot of problems. Oh yeah, this game is actually... It's really, it's actually really difficult. Slurpy Ninja is making this look really easy. Mm. It's not. Anyone who's played this game will definitely agree. Yeah. Unless they too are very seasoned Mega Man players. But there's just a lot of instant death situations here. Yes, all of these are. All those spikes, spikes are instant deaths. The top, so, and, the bottom. and there's gonna be quite a few of those to come. There's also a flower boss coming up uh, pretty soon, and it's gonna be random where the flower boss comes out. So hopefully he gets a good pattern here. He's pause just to see where he is, where he's at. Oh. I used the wrong weapon. I thought it was Proto Man for a second there. There you go. Yeah, I was wondering why you were using concrete shot there. You can just kind of smoothly move along here. Smoothly, yes. Smooth. Any concrete up moving enemies? Nice little zips there. You've definitely really gotten good at those. Again, okay, they don't save you that much time, but over the course of a run, they would definitely start to add up. And there's the big stomper here, so you just kind of shoot him away with the Magma Bazooka, and that gets you ready for the boss run. Yeah, with his weakness, he's not too scary. Yeah, three charge shots and a small shot shot. Yeah. Take him down. Not the bees! Oh, that was a little bit, a little bit off there, but it's alright. This is the unfortunate death and concrete stage, though. Those jumps are actually really pretty tricky. And also, oh. we've been having trouble with controllers today. The, um, yeah, the no. waves from every single like Wii U and Wii coming around have messed up the controls, so it's a little bit... It's a little bit strange to play. So we got a dual well, stage now. Yeah. As long as not as bad as what uh, Trank put up with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there yeah, is that's uh, game, so. at the time of the game where you need to, you die. So once again, I'm going to be using concrete shot here. Oops. That was a little bit off, but that's okay. Did we get them the bees? And these platforms are... You have to They're not fun. Let's just put it that way. You have to move them to move faster. Nice. Missed a shot there. Now the good thing about uh, starting off with the bees there is they just they home right for the uh, oh, the boss the before you even see them. They're in my eyes. Not my eyes. They're in my bees. <laughs> so I plan to use just enough concrete to get through this whole section here. The 
taking away some spiders here with the concrete, taking a damage boost, and bypassing the last stomper there. And there's a little bit of a damage glitch, and I'm not sure if I can get it here. But if I can, then I'll be able to hit him twice in one jump. And I think I... Oh, maybe I didn't get it, so... It only saves about 0.2 of a second, but... I just missed it. The placement has to be precise on a pixel. Still a good fight, though. Yeah. Also, the music in this game is fantastic. Brilliant soundtrack. They made this game to be like Mega Man 2 style. So they took away the charge buster and they took away the um, slide for Mega Man. Proto Man has the slide and the charge buster, but he also takes double damage, so it's a lot harder to run Proto Man on. Yeah, you can't damage boost through near and given as many the things. Given the problems we've had today, I didn't really want to. Yeah. That, so. Everything's just a little bit more punishing with uh, Proto Man. Yes. It also makes uh, some of the routing different too, because he he simply just cannot take the extra hits that Mega Man can. So this stage has the uh, Yoku blocks that were made familiar from Mega Man 2 game, I guess. And I actually missed my cycle, so I have to take a shed to here. Just some backup strats. Because the if you mess up even a slight movement at the beginning there, it messes up the position of those blocks, so you have to be really careful not to do what I did. Oh. I felt it coming, but I didn't know it was actually going to happen. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab these refills. Oh, he dropped a refill for me. Nice. Nice. So now I have some extra jet to work with. Oh, oh that's so useful. That's good. And these little Shadow Mega Man kind of chase you around. They kind of do what you do a little bit. Jumping and shooting. Just got through there. Those blocks can trap you in and make you fall back into the spikes. So. And jump right over that big stomper. That's the big mama jump. Very specific jump that I don't actually. I just do it through feeling, but there might be a floor marker. I'm not really sure. And curiously enough, Pugman gives you the same pattern in the first fight no matter what you do, but he changes his pattern in the refight. So. Um, I think they forgot to program in other patterns. Really. <laughs> That's my only explanation. That's all you got? Just, just yeah. forgot? <laughs> yeah, just having jewel shields takes them down, so... I guess we can hug ball. Here's the, the first this is the first female robot master in a Mega Man game, I think. Slash and not surprisingly, I didn't her know weakness that is bees. robots had gender per se. Yeah. We are playing Mega Man. Mm, so true. they did essentially just kinda give him a gender right off the bat. I guess so. Oh, oh I'm, crush I'm Crush Girl Joss. Joss. I was the one that was running uh, Super Mario World uh, today. Ooh. Oh, we have a few more do donations. Well, thank you to everyone who's donating. It's really, really appreciated. So this is the my first, uh, yeah. Room. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no. Seeing how when I first heard about the Fort McMurray fire, I was like, I want to do something to help these people. Exactly. Because I saw just how devastating it was. Yes. It was horrible. So, so thank you all for helping out for this. Yeah, I know it's really, really appreciated. Really and really I'm glad I finally get to do something to help uh, oh, these people. They actually just started letting people back into Fort McMurray. Oh, really? That's yeah. really good. And obviously those who lost everything. Yeah. I saw I saw the video They don't have much to go back the, to. I barely grabbed that ladder. I saw videos of the fire. It was pretty intense. It's really devastating, so... Yes. <laughs> mm. 
All right. There's a few ways to fight. She's gonna have to eat the bees. No, 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 not the bees. Underwater. Underwater bees. That was a really good fight. Yeah, it used to be that she was the first robot master you had to go for. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned run. earlier, but yeah, yeah. As the run evolved, so did the routing for it. So. Yeah, the game has come a long way. Absolutely. Oh, the bees, they're in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Yes, the Booker Man. I got the honor of going to John's bathroom that had the framed picture of Nicholas Cage staring at me while I went to the washroom. Uh, wow. Whoa. I would like Thank to announce to everyone that we just hit over a thousand dollars. Wow. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Let's keep it going. Mm -hmm. So actually this this stage has kind of evolved with strats here. So instead of just jetting across the entire stage now you go up here on these batteries. And if you don't keep jumping on them, it'll drag you under and you'll fall underneath the battery, so they're spinning. Okay. So there's a lot of thousand uh, dollar hype going on in here right now. Thousand hype, thank you guys. Thousand thank hype. You. So I'm just gonna take a damage boost from him. Skip this room. I'm gonna skip this guy just by jumping over him. And because I grabbed that extra health and I did all those jumps and beam stuff, I can actually start my rush jet from here, as opposed to right here, usually. Um, I almost actually caught that cylinder. That was, uh, that was close. Battery? Cylinder? I'm not really sure. And now the wind's pushing me to the right, so if you keep jumping, you'll get pushed, and you'll jump much farther. Switch into plug ball. And if he gives me a nice pattern, then I'll be able to just take him down without him moving. Which didn't happen. Because Tornado Man is an epic throw. Wow. Thanks, Tornado Man. Alright, so we're down to uh, the next half of the game here. Where, shockingly, Sorry? it was Dr. Wily all along. Okay, there's still four more stages, so... Like, seriously, if you're that surprised, it's Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily. The voices in Mega Man we... are, are comical. <laughs> that game is... Them uh, eyebrows. <laughs> eyebrows intensify. <laughs> I just like when you were at your, uh, doing your HDQ run, mm -hmm. and you were like... Eyebrows. <laughs> eyebrows. Like, at the same time, in my living room, I said, them eyebrows. And then Brett just kind of, like, looked at me going, did you guys plan that or something? <laughs> it was channeled through a spirit medium. We, we knew, mm -hmm. Dave. We knew about them eyebrows. So if you do the same movements here, the birds will appear in the same spot every time. And Whoa. then my rush jet didn't come down low enough, so ow. There you go. We dodged the bullet there. Literally. It's all good though. Hmm. So as you can see, Dr. Wiley's really started doubling down on these uh, insta-kill spikes. Oh yeah. He's tripling down. Like he's got he's got two chicken breasts. Really, if he was smart, he'd just make the whole hands. stage those spikes. Yeah. He's got like cheese and bacon with two chicken breasts. Like he's doubled down. <laughs> so if I do this right, well, I didn't really. But you were close. Hmm. You can you can actually finish off that dragon at the highest point there with the rush glow. My mash was a little bit off there. So. And that's a really dangerous thing to do. 
Don't, don't try that yeah, at home. Yeah, no, that, uh, that looked dangerous. I don't suggest anyone try that at home. <laughs> Definitely not. And firing the music is kind of like a mainstay of Mega Man Runners. I'm not really sure why we all do it, but there we have it. Now, this boss is particularly annoying. These guys want to push spikes at me. They're the spike pushers. And I want to push them back. And they really like to push them back, unless you keep a constant mash going, so... That's why I changed my hand from hope and pushed it. So to get this fight done as fast as possible, you don't want them to push the spikes. So why are you only doing the bottom two first? Sorry? Why are you only doing the bottom two first? That's a good question. That's just how we do. That's just how you do? Yeah. There Essentially it's just the fastest way? Yeah. I suppose so. So here's where we come to the best soundtrack in the game, as far as I've heard. We are the robots, I think. Man, there's so many good tracks in this game. I'm not sure if I could pick a favorite. I think my favorite's Galaxy, but I'm you know what? Really Galaxy's sure. definitely one of mine it's, as well. It's up there for sure. Which is good because I've heard you play that stage a lot. <laughs> uh, I used to. Well, yeah, back in the day, you played that to try to get the world record on it, mm -hmm. which you did get. Yeah. Oh. oh. Ouch. Yeah, unfortunately you just missed a uh, rush jet just by a little bit there. I missed him by like a hair, yeah. And of course we all love instant death spikes. Indeed. Well. I was trying to conserve my rush jet, but now that I have more, it doesn't... I'm not sure how I missed that, but... Well, it's usually like the easy stuff. Like for me, whenever I'm doing my speed runs, it's it's always the easy oh, stuff, yeah. or this is simple things you're not really thinking Sometimes too I just, hard I just nail, on. Like the hardest tricks, and then I yeah. mess up on the easiest things. And generally, those are the ones you've practiced, like day in, day out, hour on, hour. So. That's like for my run, I I did the same thing. I I screwed up things that I normally never screw up, and then I got all the hard tricks down. That's how that Except Yoshi, goes. Yoshi Clip definitely gave me some tr uh, trouble today. Oops. Yeah, I'm having some controller issues, so it's the uh, it's the gigantic amount of Wii's and Wii U's we have going around here. I just uh, I just contemplated picking that health up, but so this is the hardest jump in the game, but. Apparently it's not that hard. <laughs> no, it's actually really, really tricky. It's a really punishing jump. It's super easy to just catch the edge of that that ledge and just fall right into those spikes. So I have failed it many, many times, but I've also now gotten a lot better at it. Just good. Well, it's just one of those jumps. Even if you just like just off like a little bit, it uh, it will kill you. Yeah. So you want to make this jump so you don't fall all the way down to the bottom. And you want to also mash this guy. Oh, because they. Or do you can just walk past him. A lot of damage. Yeah. I could have got. I guess I could have jumped over him. But mashing intensifies. And this is Mega Mech Shark. That's actually the boss's name. He is a Mega Mega Mech Shark. So he's weak to Laser Trident, so I'm going to use that for all three forms of this. And I'm not going to get hit, I hope. Okay. There we go. Alright, nicely done, nicely yeah. done. Shark is over. Not much health left, but made it through, that's all that matters. Yeah. 
if that shark had touched me. Yeah, yeah no, if he breathed on you. Would have been back to the boss room, or maybe back to the start of the stage, I'm not really sure how many lives I have left. Now we're into the second last stage of the game. I'm gonna hop over this guy. And mash that guy. Use rush coil to get up as high as possible. And now I'm gonna rest my hands. I'm gonna kick back. So it's gonna, gonna take a break, guys. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know, so make go make a sandwich, take smoke. a piss. Well, we don't have time for that. This isn't Final Fantasy X. <laughs> <laughs> Where you legitimately made a sandwich. Yeah. That's a great speed game. Six hours of cutscenes and four hours of game, so it's, uh, it's fun. And yet the remake still didn't let you just skip the cutscenes. I don't know why. Good job, Square Enix. Hmm. Also, they made Titus look really creepy. A little bit. Now he had a face to match the laugh. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh my god. So throughout this part, there's like, there's enemies that'll grab you and pull you into the spikes, but if you just go in through the way I'm doing it, and my wrist is kind of hurting here, so I'm not sure why. That's great, because I have to do trauma center after this, which is already a pain on the wrist, as it is. This guy grabs you, he pulls you to the right, and then you shoot to the left. And I'm going to use my And Some people here. might get up here and be like, oh boy, three free lives! Mm -hmm. It's a trap. It's a lie. It's a trap. Sorry? I'm just gonna jump right under that guy. It's a pretty yeah, we're just, we're just gonna pretty, let him do his thing. Squeeze. He, just, he just wants to jump. And this boss, you want oh one boy. cycle, and you can actually cancel your shots by pushing pause, and then unpausing and shooting again. So that's what I want to do here. If he gets this, he'll be really quick. Yeah. And if I don't get this, I lose 20 seconds, so I'm just going to go the safe method here. I have a visual cue. Oh, oh nice, nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One cycle. Very nicely done. Sure did. It's not a glitch, it's just like... Hmm. It's just cancelling your shots. I'm gonna take damage from this one. I'm gonna walk right through this guy with concrete. And you kinda need concrete to get through this area, so. You can't exactly do this game buster only entirely, but you can do it buster mostly. And I also run that category as well. Alright, time for the refights. Yes. We're back to Galaxy. Hopefully, because Alright, come on, good pattern. Time. Oh, no. Nope. Same pattern as last time. Only one swoop. And I actually have to conserve my concrete. So I'm just going to finish them off with magma. We're going to go over here and fight Plug. And Plug might jump across the screen. He might stay where he is, or he might jump to the middle. So, Oh, he jumped across the screen. Plug be trolling. Tornado gave me a perfect pattern, so that was great. He just stood there. And Magma, sometimes you can get double hits with his weakness, so... And there we go, double hit. Yeah. Well, if I hadn't had that death, this would have been a really good run, actually. 
It's still, it's still doing, doing good. And the glitch doesn't work on the second form of, uh, or the reflight of Jill Man because the room is wider, and that's the only reason. Which is kind of weird, but that's yeah. how it works. And then we have to give her the bees. Oh. Again. Underwater bees. No, no, not the bees. I don't know how Does chat want to know the thing that Brent is most afraid of more than anything else in the world? Is it bees? So I'll tell you. Bees. It's bees. He's terrified of bees. No lie, Brent Brent has dreams where he's he's being chased by bees. Okay. And so Wily is in a dinosaur tank. Because dinosaur tank. And he's... And he wants to play soccer with you. Mega Man soccer. <laughs> oh my goodness, Woodman, that game. I, where's my Woodman goalie? <laughs> Woodman goalie, best goalie. And he gave me a bad pattern. That's alright though. We can, we can live with this. And now we're into the final phase. The final form of Wily. So it'll be right. time after I... After the last hit on him. And of course, plug is his weakness because it's the hardest to hit. Yeah. And so, Wily can actually lose you up to two minutes just by flying around, being Wily. Yeah, if he stays right up there, we can't get him. Alright, one more. Time after. Now. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Now. Time. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad with those deaths. No, you did pretty good. Yeah. Nice job, man. Sweet. And now I'm going to switch right into Trauma Center. All right. Okay, we're going to switch up the games. Um, yeah. And uh, thanks for the uh, Mega Bad to Nine run. My wrist that was it. awesome. Brent, do you want to do co commentary for Trauma Center? Sure. Yeah. Oh, I would like to announce that Brent will be. Brent, afraid of bees, imagine on. Is, is going to. That himself will be on uh, my the PB mic is very 32, shortly. 39, so no, with a with a death, I kind of. I need to be centralized. Though. Okay, scooching intensifies. Salt flats? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can always try sitting down here. That one was... I think? No. Anyway. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. I can't see Jux. Okay, so does chat want me to... No, you can switch. Okay. Go ahead and switch. Let's keep it going. Games. Let's, let's keep this going, yeah. Are you in for 10 person Bomberman? Yeah, I'm absolutely in for 10 person Bomberman. Yeah. Let's do this for now. Hopefully it's good enough. So we're switching gears here to... Do you need a life break or anything? I just need need a quick to, break I just need to stretch out my hand a little bit. Alright. Because this game is... And put the wrist strap on because this game is intensive on the wrist <laughs> and I want to take off my watch because it's heavy. Heavy. Yes, we don't want any TVs uh, damaged in the, m the running of this game. No. Many TVs Joss. were damaged in the running of this game. Hmm. So All first right. off the bat I want to turn rumble off and I want to turn auto save off and that will save me tons of time already. Alright, we're ready to go? I think so, yeah. All right, get ready on the timer. It'll be when I... Just count them down. So, five, four, three, two, one, go. Cool. All right. The characters and events depicted in this game, I don't know, I didn't see it. Merely coincidental. Mm -hmm. No incidental name should match. No Dr. Styles in reality is what they're trying to say. Dr. Styles. Dr. Styles. Mm -hmm. Report to the operating room. 
So we start off with the standard procedure. And this is like the these are the tutorial levels, so to speak. Very, Very exciting. Yes. Doctor Styles, standard procedure. Doctor Styles. And this is the nurse that we don't want. <laughs> <laughs> because every every five seconds her her words are Dr. Styles, Dr. Styles. It's Dr. Styles. Starting the operation. So we skip all the dialogue in this game. Because playing through all the dialogue maybe takes twenty hours or so. Yeah, this is a normal RPG length once you add all the dialogue yes. in. An awesome game made by Atlas of all people. I feel like it's an underrated uh, series. Absolutely. It needs more love. What are you doing? And I missed a cut. Oops. <laughs> so, it suffers a little bit because the Wii Remote isn't the greatest in accuracy compared to the Wii Motion Plus that the Wii got later. But it's still, like, especially the way that Dave's holding the remote, um, I like to put it on my my knee, rest my arm on my knee to have a steadier hand because it can make a big difference. So. <laughs> what? What? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You'll be seeing a few shards of glass in this one, actually. Quite a few. Mm -hmm. So that was the first operation. I don't know if you caught that. This is this is uh, this isn't good surgery per se, but more so fast surgery. We're not we're not looking to be a master surgeon. We're looking to be a speedy surgeon. We're saving patients' lives and making as much money as possible while doing it. <laughs> saving their life doesn't mean it has to be pretty. There might be some bad bandaging. There might be some really silly looking oh, sutures. Be a ton of bad bandaging because you throw gelling the cuts at the end of the operation out the window at this point. So just to so save time. For those who don't know, you use the nunchuck to select the wheel on the bottom left. Right now, it, it forces you to select only certain tools, but you'll get you'll see that he's very fast at switching because you can just switch with the the nunchuck really fast. It's awesome. Yeah. That's what makes this game so fun. It's how fast indeed that operation took 13 seconds. Imagine being in the hospital for that short of a time. <laughs> <laughs> Patients would love you, but they're like, oh, doctor, you care. Probably, their aftercare would be probably a lot worse than the normal patient, though. Yes. They'd probably be in a lot of pain for a long time. <sighs> Let's not talk about the pain. Let's talk about saving No the pain, patients. no gains, right? That's true. So I mastered this part just so that I can hit the option as fast as possible, and then we use the skip button to save my hand from... Look, this game has destroyed my shirt. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna, it's time to operate. Roll up the sleeves here. Dr. Styles. He does the old, like, yeah. I'm pretty sure she said Dr. Styles five times. Is that, that the Yasu? Is he doing the Yasu? The Yasu, yeah. Let's begin. Oh, I should probably explain. Yasu, look it up. Yasu DDR on Google, and you'll see what I mean. Yeah. So there's like points of information in here. So there's three tumors here. One, two, and it should be around here. Ah, there it is. Great, we found it. And we're just gonna excise them all at once because we are amazing doctors, and we want to go really fast. Save the patients, make the money. Yeah. See, it's simple. Also, miracle gel. It's the way of the future. Well done. <laughs> also, normally, normally you actually use some gel on that before you apply the bandage, but whatever. Bad. Oh yeah, there's still, some bad. Still got an S, so it's fine, right? Oh, no. Not no, 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 no. <laughs> Doctor Styles doesn't config. No. <laughs> <laughs> no need to config. We got an S. <laughs> Perfect. And here we re meet the real nurse of the game. Yeah, she's really angry all the time, though. Well, you don't see that in the speeder. You just see... And they never make out, either. No. Well, you don't see that in the speeder. No, we don't see that, either. <laughs> Making out intensifies. Do not use this game as a reference for real medical emergencies. No. As, as I said in the warning that we skipped in the, in the beginning. I thought that was just about the names being coincidental. Or the oh, right, you did say something about the procedures or not. So Nurse Angie uh, doesn't say Dr. Styles five times in, in one minute, so she's good. She's, she's a yeah. great nurse. Because being fast trumps being accurate. Oh! Oh, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> you just, like, slit the guy's throat. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I had to. 
because I had to get rid of these polyps in his throat. And we have a laser in order to get rid of polyps because you know that's that's safe, right? I think in the in the game after this game, like New Blood, the sequel, they have like they have like a race against another doctor on a variety TV show. I remember that, yes. Surgery, and, and they thought it was a joke. And it's absurd. Yeah. And there we go. All the polyps are removed. Is that um, your phone or my phone? I don't know. Someone's phone is dying. I think that's my phone. Do you want me to plug it in for you? Mm, their patient. My patients are paging me. I can't. I can't be bothered. Nurse. Oh, thanks. So we sang the blues, and now we're a real doctor. Yeah. Emergency wow. phone charging complete. Thank you. Thank you. Nurse. I got a bad though when trying to plug in the damn oh. USB. You didn't use the gel, did you? I had to do it three times. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> I had to super position it. You have to use the gel the <laughs> to get a cool medical phone. gel your phone, huh? <laughs> don't don't. It is it is waterproof. It's fine. I stuffed something in that phone. Let's begin. Oh. Ooh. I tried I tried for a fast cut. Didn't work. I lost more seconds than I than I saved there. Give it the old golf swing. This uh, guy's got a lot remote. of information. I think he has four tumors. Proceed as normal. It's not like four cheese. That's not. Is this what happens when you eat too much cheese? Um. I hope not because I eat a lot of pizza. Well, you better just hope there's a Dr. Styles in this city. Um, a Calgary version of Dr. Styles. Yeah. Look at this. These tumors are just popping up out of nowhere. These tumors are like John Cena, because we couldn't see him. Wait, is that John Cena, or is that the other guy? Andy For what, sorry? These tumors? <laughs> we couldn't see them, right? So they're like John Cena. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> Oh no. I'm sorry. It's alright. Those vitals are looking pretty low. Just saying. Come, here comes Dot and Dad Doctor. Hey, look, at the, look at the cursor shake. He's so vigorously tapping the buttons. Yeah. It's that Mega Man mash finger. <laughs> cool. Bad. Cool searcher. Wow, you called that one. Nice. And that wasn't a, that wasn't a successful operation. We know what's really in there. Yeah. We know what's going on. They're hiding doctors in patients. <laughs> I wish. That'd be ridiculous. Considering the ridiculous nature of this game already, I wouldn't be surprised if they were hiding doctors in patients. It's anime surgery the game. Yeah. Of course. Anything can happen. Use lasers, shoot them with a laser beam, pew pew pew. Especially the last mission, that's definitely pew pew pew. It's, oh, definitely. That's all lasers. Yeah. Fire the lasers. Stop crying. <laughs> she's just, only crying. Just because work. She's, uh, Do your job. There's the Yasu. She's only crying because uh, we didn't kiss her. <laughs> At least I think we didn't. This is not a dating simulator. I'm so sorry. What? I thought I thought we were playing um, Had a Full Boyfriend Holiday Star. <laughs> <laughs> so. A lot of people have trouble with the defibrillator because it's it can be kind of tricky to put your hands in the right place sometimes. It's just finicky. Shards of glass. I got no crying bald eagles in this game, sadly. So remember that game Operation where you don't touch the sides and then it goes and go beep? Yeah, I'm not good at that. Oh, nice. But I am good at nice. That actually saves a bunch of time. And there's a volcano of glass. We didn't see that. What? Next nurse. There's a giant incision. This person's heart is having some big issues. So now the doctor turns to the dark arts. Summons the eldritch gods. Mm -hmm. You see that pentagram? I didn't. Um, John is prepping a uh, ten-man bomber man at the moment. He's he's currently uh, making sure it's all good to go. I'm glad you had the real answer, because I was going to say John is writing fanfiction <laughs> about his hat and him. <laughs> Writing fanfiction, right. We need more of that. Nope. We don't need any more of that. I already got plenty of that. Send all your fanfiction to me, I'll read it on stream. No. <laughs> so what are these Z-missions? So, there's a doctor in Japan, Dr. Kimishima, 
and she has her own set of missions and very white hair. I'm I guess after you've doctored for so long, she went like this. She's like, what, "What epic pose can I strike before doing an operation?" Let's begin. I wonder how many other doctors do that. This isn't JoJo's. Wow, I'm surprised you actually got a cool on that. You were like, Roop. "Yeah, my hand's kind of shaky. I'm not sure why." Oh, maybe all the caffeine. Because you're on uh, national caffeine. television. Oh yeah. Or caffeine, yeah. Both. Wait a minute. We're on John TV. That person better be sedated. 2020, This is rotate the Wii remote with a very inaccurate Wii remote. It's painful. The rotation things are actually painful. And look, there's a hiding piece in his arm that we just took out. And this this gel is really good. It's probably really expensive, but we use it really nearly here. Apparently, someone's actually been making something like this, and they're charging like fifty dollars for a little tiny, uh, like once uh, needle worth. Really expensive. Testing it on animals right Boy, now. This is really expensive. Veterinaries, veterinarians are using it, yeah. but it's basically meta gel. So that was chapter one, and you have to do these side missions to to uh, progress. To the next They'll have a point later. Yes. There is a point to the side missions. If you skip them all, then you can't really do chapter six. So talking intensifies. Wait. <laughs> I wish I could talk that fast. Me too. No, you need to. You need to skip them. Then of course you can talk that fast. All right, let's open them up. Let's see what we got here. That was very nice. I didn't read the uh, the notes. We don't have time for that. I hate this one. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. So this is actually pretty easy. You just uh, you clip if you, whatever these things are. I don't know. Easy if you're good at the game. Just gonna qualify that. Beginners will have. Nightmares. Yeah. Uh oh, indeed. Go away. Oh, oh, here we go. We have called upon the powers of the Dark Lord. Eventually, they teach you how to do that in med school. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Sweet. So we got drop pentagrams with your Wii remote or summon Eldritch Gods. Both. Oh, okay. One one comes with the territory. Nice work, Dr. Styles. So we saved him. Good. That's more money, right? I hope. Yeah, I'm thinking of the wrong mission. Huh? Yeah, I'm thinking the wrong mission because it automatically uses the healing touch there. Okay. So yeah, these ones that don't have the fancy stripe on the side are skip missions. They're just story points. There's a lot of story points in this game. So much story that we have to skip. They need to make you care about the characters. That's true. And it actually goes quite in depth, you know. And this mission is driving for Acephalus. I'm not sure what that word means. I think it means draw a bunch of stars because that's what I'm going to do. Acephalus in the story, they talk about him being like the first doctor or something? Maybe the first doctor had that. The power doctor, the god of doctors or something? By concentration medicine. I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find a Wikipedia article on him. Right. So, yeah. Starting the operation. So, I draw my stars kind of weird. I start from the top right. But that works too, you know. Gasp. And there we go. Ugh. You're a bunch of stars, and now I can do that too. It's just easy. Everybody can do it at home. Draw a bunch of stars, get power. Don't and you can just do it in training. like. Don't, don't draw stars all over your house. I'm sorry. <laughs> But he, he, it should only happen when he needs it desperately, and he was able to do it in training. That's yeah. crazy. Mashing intensifies. Okay, good. So they're talking. I don't know. Got any? Got any idea what they're talking about? Aneurysms. No. Oh boy. Let's begin the operation. Yeah, I'm gonna because this is anime surgery. I'm gonna do the anime <laughs> adjusting my glasses. Let's begin. Whoops. Uh-oh. Wow. I think I need new glasses. <laughs> or you need to adjust them faster. Yeah. So here's the aneurysm. And it's gone. So the aneurysm, you just inject the stuff. Let's call it the stuff. Because I don't know exactly what it is. 
and then you cut out the aneurysm, and you pull it out of there, and you drain out the excess blood, and then you close the vein, well or artery, or I'm not really sure what that is exactly. This game teaches you how just... to drop the circles really well. I'm pretty sure I could become an artist now. Th this isn't good. Uh oh, I'm gonna use my healing touch here because these things are gonna explode and it's gonna go crazy. And I don't want the patient to die on me. Doctor, doctor, vitals dropping. Doctor, doctor. Time of the news. I got a bad case of aneurysms in my head. There we go. Aneurysms be gone. I wish it really worked like that. That'd be awesome. Nice work, Dr. Styles. Cool. A C. Uh I know. Yeah. Healing touch. Makes you a bad person. It does. <laughs> oh yeah. This is not an S speed run. You're summoning the demon lord, I mean. Something like that, right? Yeah, skip that. We don't want to pay for us. You don't what? Uh, we're skipping paying the price. That's alright. We've already paid the iron price. So this girl has intense lacerations in her chest, I want to say. We'll just call them anime lacerations. Mm -hmm. And she's really depressed, so she wants the doctors to not save her. And then you save her, and then in the next mission she wants there you to save her. Time. Because there's still more lacerations. So this one is just teaching you how to deal with these like big cuts, pretty much. See that wonderful suturing he's doing? Like, wouldn't you want that on your body? Zigzags. That's that's the key to suturing properly. Nice work, Doctor Styles. I I comically get worse at bandaging as the operations go on. You care less and less about the accuracy of bandages. Yeah. Accuracy. Out the window. We don't need it. Reasons? We don't need that either. No. Skip. Pokemon Stadium mini games. I Star War. So yeah, this is just all dialogue, um, telling you exactly everything that I told you in the last operation, and now she wants to live. So let's save her. I'm okay with that. This is our first exposure to the new enemy? Yes. So uh, some crazy um, organization called Delphi creates a bunch of, I guess, super viruses called Guilt. And they're kind of like, I don't know, they're not nice. Yeah, not nice is a good way to describe it. Yeah. We'll be seeing lots of the next uh, mission throughout the game. They're pesky. This is Kiriaki, right? Yeah. Yes. This one's called Kiriaki. Not Teriyaki. Don't get, don't get that confused. Teriyaki's delicious. There's nothing delicious about Kiriaki. No. Getting S ranks on Kiriaki is pretty delicious. Oh, yeah. I might not get S rank. We'll see. So I'm going to restore some vitals because this mission has a tendency to. And where is he? There he is. He's just swimming around. A lot of things like to swim in this game. Swim through patients, which is really weird. But we can't be questioning, because we're doctors, we gotta save patients.